Welcome to this tutorial which is going to teach you how to create a piece of artwork inspired by this piece by Diane Yoon. Um, and on Photopia I have a photo of myself open and ready to go and I'm going to get the polygonal mask tool and I'm going to zoom in just so you can see it a little bit better and I'm going to with the polygonal mask tool just cut a line down the middle of my face but considering the contours of my face so dipping round my nose round my lips and then down to my chin and then I'm gonna go up the left hand side and um, cutting quite close to the edge of my head go back to the original point okay then I'm going to edit transform warp and then I'm going to grab the handles in the middle and the handles just to the side but leave the handles on the corners alone and just moving the side handles and the middle handles I'm just going to stretch the face out warp it away so it creates this fissure in the center of my face this kind of crack if you will okay once I've done that I'm just going to get rid of that mask and I'm going to get the polygonal mask tool again and I'm going to go down the middle first, which is easy because there's nothing there now, so I can very quickly go down. And then I'm going to go up on the right hand side, uh, again quite close to the edge of my head, back up to the top, and I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to edit, transform warp and I'm going to do the same again again just using those middle handles leaving the corner handles alone and just moving it over till I'm happy with it until I feel I've got enough of a crack down the center of my face with enough warping having happened Okay, and once I'm happy with that, I can then use the magic wand tool and magic wand that bit in the center, create myself a new layer and then grab the red color and fill what I just magic wandered and that will be on the new layer okay and then going to go to the mask tool and using my keyboard I'm gonna nudge the mask left um, by gently pressing the left hand key the left direction key until I've got enough at which point I'm then gonna just press delete and that's gonna delete everything but that small line there and that's going to be like the thickness of my skin so now that line is just on its own layer so I can double click and I can go to inner shadow and I can choose where I want my inner shadow to be and just use the tools the sliders to slide as much shadow as I want looking at the opacity and once I'm happy click OK OK right I think I might just make that a little bit darker actually so what I'm going to do is just go to image adjustments hue saturation and just bring the brightness down so it's a bit darker I think it was a bit too red before okay now I'm going to another photo that I've got open 
and I'm just choosing a part of the face and I'll zoom out for you so you can see once I paste it in there you go and I'm going to drag it down to the bottom so it's underneath everything else and I'm going to bring it up and just resize it twist it get it to wherever I feel it will work best as this kind of creepy face peeking out from behind the crack. Okay, I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is go to Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation, and I'm going to bring the saturation down, and I'm going to bring the brightness down. So it looks a bit sickly. Okay, then I'm going to take that line and I'm going to merge it with the face in front so they become one layer and that's so that when I go to um, double click on the layer and press outer glow it means that the that space will then get filled with that outer glow so I change the settings make sure I've got a very very dark maroon okay click OK and then this is where I'll just mess around with these settings again bring the opacity up to start with oh that flicked down let's put it up again and then we just mess around with the size just to and maybe bring the opacity down a bit and that adds some shadow into that section so it looks like it's properly inside and under the skin okay and you click OK and you really could leave your image like that if you want but I'm just going to add an extra level of creepiness and I've um, taken a photo of my hand and um, it, I think you can guess what my hand is going to be doing but what I'm going to do from this photo is polygonal mask tool and just quickly and obviously I'm doing it really quickly I'd suggest you take more time over it But I'm doing it really quickly, polygonal masking around my fingers. Okay, and I'm not going to need my thumb, so I'm just ignoring that and just taking the four fingers and going back up. And then I'm going to Control C, Control V to copy and paste that in. And I'm going to edit, transform, flip horizontally so that it goes the right direction. And then resize it into the space. And I'm going to, that's it, I'm going to zoom in, I think. It'll be easier for everybody to see. There we go. And I'm just going to move this over. And obviously it looks like it's kind of over the top at the moment. So I'm just going to zoom in. Get the polygonal lasso tool. And just guesstimate where the line is. Go back around, press delete. And that makes it look like it's coming out from under there. But we still need to do a little bit of recolouring and adding some shadow. So I'll just go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation and bring the saturation down like the face inside and make it a bit darker. That's okay. And then I'm going to double click on the layer 
And I'm going to do two things. I'm going to do an inner shadow and I make sure I turn off the global light. And I'm going to just make it so that it's got a shadow on its left hand side. And you just do that by messing around with the distance and the opacity and the size until you get it so that it looks like it's coming out from under that fold from inside the crack. And then the other thing I'm doing is a drop shadow. Again, normal and messing around with all of those settings until I find an angle and a distance and an opacity that makes it look like it's forming a shadow onto the face as it's coming out. And that's it. And if I just zoom out, that is how to create a creepy face inspired by the artwork of Diane Yoon. Thanks for watching this tutorial.